Stacy Sleekis, S L E K I S. I live on Old Wallam Lake Road in Pasco. Um, Iowa asked where the union members were. They're probably at home. They've probably had dinner. They've probably had a few cocktails. And they've probably tucked their children into bed, unlike many of us. Right. Mr. Sabatoni, um, something just has to be said. Instead of enlisting your members to fill the seats and take our parking spaces, maybe that time may be better spent with the course in social etiquette. Ma'am, please direct your comments to the chair. So I thought about what I wanted to say this evening that hadn't already been said. Um, some of the happenings at the state level over the past year, a governor signed an executive order to establish a chief resiliency officer to combat the effects of climate change in the state. Um, let's not forget the 500,000 pound generator delivery debacle. That was seven times the state's legal limit. We've had a few gas leak evacuations over the past year. Um, it's been reported that Rhode Island has the highest CO2 emission rate in New England, and the gas pipeline expansion project was placed on hold. Um, in the town of Barville over the past year, we've had over 92 organizations, towns, and cities that have opposed this project. Um, the Conservation Law Foundation, we had a benefit concert. We've sold bumper stickers, coffee mugs, signs, banners. We've had fundraising dinners. We've had countless town council meetings where we spoke, numerous public hearings, um, several learn the facts sessions by Mr. Paul Roselli. We've done news interviews, three day hikes across the state to raise awareness. Um, All right, future, Steve Alquist has been covering this nonstop, as you can see. We've created social media pages raising awareness. Um, we've done research, research, and more research. We've had rallies, and we've attended Senate judiciary hearings. Um, we even have a few new town council members as a result, and also a candidate for our governor, Mr. Paul Roselli. So tonight I wondered if some of our testimonies that you know, were heard over a year ago would be remembered, and I hope so because a lot of us really came up here and poured our heart out. So I thought about one thing that cannot go unsaid tonight, and that is thank you. Thank you to all of the residents who put their lives on hold to be our power plant warriors and fight for our town. Thank you, ma'am. Bill.